FBI or CIA agents of Reddit, what's something that you can tell us without killing us? I worked with the Australian Federal Police with the Spider Squad doing computer stuff for them in regards to pedos and finding trafficking victims. It is the most heartbreaking work. But when you get them the office looked like NASA after a Mars landing. Edit, left three and bit years ago but do get called up to lend a head every now and then. Of course they have something called Spider Squad in Australia. Jeez. I was an analyst, not an agent officer 85 percent of all classified material is classified because of how it was collected not because it is juicy useful yes you boss and co-workers said that shit about you i heard just two days ago that there is a saying in the government no one ever got fired for classifying a document hence there is huge excess secrecy this is just a matter of better safe than sorry Usually it is initially classified by the first party to touch it, usually a lower ranked individual. The easiest thing to do as the lower rank is to pass the buck. It will be up to the upper ranks to lower classification if necessary. There's also being able to take a bunch of more seemingly benign pieces of information to deduce. Very important information. My dad worked for GCHQ in the 80s doing voice recognition and he can't say anything more for a decade more. The way they can recognize you by Siri slash Google today was being used in the 80s. Just a bit slower. Not entirely related but I've always had a theory that the government is years, maybe decades, ahead in technology than the general public and they control our technological advances as well to so the wrong person or country doesn't get ahead and becomes a threat. My dad had a top secret security clearance. One of the few things he ever said was whatever the latest technology is that you can buy, the government is five years ahead. To an extent, I'd say that's more physical tech than anything, otherwise why are they using Windows, XP or otherwise, and getting hacked by people with open sourced operating systems using public knowledge gathered by just about everyone except for the government? Seems like if you're five years ahead on any latest technology you'd be able to have far better cybersecurity than what we have now. Sure, other tech that's more physical and researched, sure, but the latest tech that you can buy? I'd say that's a bit of a reach, especially since if they have always been 5 plus years ahead why weren't they using computers before Microsoft and Apple came around and why weren't they farther ahead on computing technology than those companies have been? Sure, maybe it's classified, but I feel like it's such a mundane thing it'd be something cool you'd see in a museum by now. I'd say the 5 years ahead isn't a blanket statement like the guy above you said. The government absolutely leads in some technological advances, but many more are innovated and lead by the public. Like GPS tech? That was pioneered by the military a long time ago before we even knew about it. Their GPS tech is probably still way better than what we have. Then you get things like the Obamacare website that was a f shit show. The government also buys things like CPUs for their private data centers from Intel, or buying Windows operating system running open source software. It's really a giant mixed bag. They definitely aren't ahead in everything. Not an FBI or CIA officer here, but my sister is a district attorney, and over the years she has prosecuted a number of animal cruelty cases. This lead to her having an ongoing partnership with the FBI for the last several years. It turns out the FBI started tracking animal abuse cases. About 10 to 15 years ago due to the incredibly high correlation between abusing animals. When you're young and becoming a serial violent offender as an adult. Netflix getting in on that too about a year ago. My high school girlfriend worked for the National Reconnaissance Office after college. At the time, they were responsible for analyzing the nation's spy satellite photos. She told me two things. There's a special garbage shoot for classified materials. It's in the hallway. When you are new, as a hazing ritual they tell you you have to shout your badge number down the chute before throwing in any materials. This is hilarious. She wouldn't tell me anything about the resolution quality of the spy photos, of course, but she did let it slip that because Russian sailors will sunbathe nude on the decks of their submarines in the Black Sea, several women in the office would pin those photos up in their cubicles as cheesecake beefcake photos. So a few decades ago, US spy photos could resolve Russian P. Edit, 
credit slash you slash seditious three. My aunt has been an FBI agent for 25 years. The only thing I know about her job is that she's an office administrator. But, her information went public somehow when she was part of the team that investigated the Mandalay Bay shooting in Las Vegas. Someone found the name and address of most of the agents that worked that scene and put it up online. Not sure why. She also took me and my family on a tour of the Las Vegas FBI headquarters about 15 years ago. One thing interesting that I remember about the building is that all the doors were floor to ceiling 9 foot doors. Thought that was weird. Met an old, retired, CIA spook at a wedding reception. Spitting image of Colonel Sanders, he was amazing. So I asked him I don't want you to tell me anything you can't, but I'd love to know, when Kennedy got killed, what was the talk around the water cooler in the office? He didn't halt, or pause to think. Hell. We all thought Johnson did it. Johnson really did want to be president. My college roommate was trying to get into the FBI CIA and she ended up with a job offer. She's the one person I know who could actually work for the FBI CIA. She would wake up at 4 AM for a 15 plus mile run alone tilde. She would choose to not eat after 8 PM to work on her self control. She got all homework and stuff done before 5 p.m. every day and would study for her two language classes on the weekend. She was crazy diligent and had no social media, she never wanted to be photographed either. My brother is big into IT shit and scrubbed himself off the internet somehow and showed her how to do it. Thanks for watching till the end.